Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're over at Fitzgerald Wreckers and uh, we're gonna get with Adam. He's gonna show us around this 536 here that they've just built that they're taking to the Florida Tow Show. And uh, pretty cool truck. And if you're into Wreckers and uh, you want a Wrecker, these are the guys to talk to. So uh, without any further ado, let's just get right into it. All right, so walking in the shop here, getting with Adam and checking out this new truck that they just finished that is going to the Florida Tow Show. What's going on? Oh, no, oh how's it going, guys? Uh, like you said, this is the truck going to the Florida Tow Show. Uh, sorry we're having to do this inside because it's raining today and the truck's got to leave today, so we're going to do it inside. But uh, y'all want to see it in person, it's going to be at Florida. It's going to be in the Phoenix booth. This truck has got a lot of new products from Phoenix on it. Uh, let's go, let's go, like, let's start at the front and just uh, walk me through everything you did to build the wrecker and then let's talk about the specs of the truck because this is a this is a peterbilt i'm going to say it's wrong 536 okay 536 this is under cdl truck it does have air brakes and air ride but it is under cdl 26,000 uh viper red of course matching red bed uh we've done uh, quite a bit of custom work for this one it's got strobe lights in the grill already Oh, let's flip the lights on real quick. See yeah, what it looks like. All the lights on. So as it stands right now, Adam's saying that this truck is for sale. They built it and then they go they're gonna list it for sale. Which if you guys are interested, if you're watching this video and you're interested in a tow truck or anything like that, uh we'll put the information for how to get a hold of the company and uh They've got several trucks like built and ready to go also. Um, and they're always building got a bunch. a lot of inventory. Medium duty, heavy duty, light duty. We've got Ram, Fords, Dodges, Peterbilt, Kenworths. We've got a little airplane. Of course, Peterbilt's our favorite. Yep. But uh, the Pete 536, we've done strobes in the grill. Uh, work, work, six work lights, two up top, two down low. I like to have two down next to the winch, that way you can See when you're under the car hooking up and all that stuff. Yep. But they don't do you a whole lot of good when you bed down and two up top and you shine behind you. Uh, two back here next to the wheel lift so you can see looking this car up, of course. We've got strobes back here. A lot of extra chrome on this truck. Other than a few of the extra parts, this is kind of a standard build. I do six work lights on everything. The same light bar. That's our standard light bar. Of course, we've got upgraded light bars if you want nicer ones or ones with more lights in them or whatever. Uh, we've got four or five different kinds of strobes. I really like this strobe. We don't have a whole lot of these come back. Uh, and they're cheap. I put these on for 160 bucks a piece. Anywhere you want them on the truck, so. They're bright. Yeah, they're bright. They've got, I put them on the most aggressive flash pattern that there is, but they were, they're programmable. You can all kinds of different flash patterns and all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, Tell me a little bit about the boxes, because I really like the full boxes over here yeah. and then you know, the built in with a fender. Everybody's seen the Phoenix 78 inch boxes that were used to be 21 by 21. Of course, I didn't like them because they didn't match anything else Phoenix done. So they have just come out with these. This is the first set. These are the Phoenix 78 inch boxes that do have the pass through. So you can put broom handles, you and know, you got, shovels, whatever. You got a light in here. Yep. Turns on when you open up the door. Yep. It comes on with the work lights. Okay. Uh, yeah, they're lighted. We've and got the air, air hose hook. reel already in here. Got what is that plumbed cables to? in here. Uh, is that is the air hose yeah, reel plumbed, plumbed to? Yeah, it's plumbed in the truck, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's plumbed in the truck. So a lot of these guys run AAA and stuff. They just need a way to air up tires, and that's right. plenty for that. And then got a jumper post here because you have to jump somebody off. Oh, yeah, right there on the side. Here, that's plugs nice. into that. Yep. Chains and hooks and stuff. Yeah. I really this, like the light-up boxes. That's super nice. This is a brand-new top tray, too. Okay. The, the old top tray... Everybody remembers had a, a corner light here on both sides. A lot of the guys didn't like that. So this is a brand new top tray without the lights. But you can still, you know, you stick all your lumber and stuff up in here and then it's hid out of the way. Nobody can see it. Yep. Uh, yeah, really like the box. And the jumper setup's cool. I mean, it's easy to get to. And then it's got the Phoenix baskets back here. If you've got the 78 inch trays in the baskets, that are really handy for dollies because you can set your dollies down in the baskets and then lay you know, your bot dolly bars and like in the truck in, in the, there in the top trays. They're long enough. Yeah. So that's handy. Of course the basket's got a mesh floor that way water, whatever, you know, you put your muddy stuff in there. People put their five gallon buckets floor dry in there and stuff yep. like that. And then this is brand and they're all nineteen uh twenty two fives on these trucks? Yep. 
We did fives on these trucks. They, back in the day, they, all, they always used to be 19 fives. Mm -hmm. The 22 fives are way nicer. Yeah. That's yeah, they cool. Are. They can handle a lot more weight. You yep. Know? And then this is brand new. This is the prototype. Nobody's ever seen this before. Y'all are getting an exclusive here. Uh, this is the new box. Phoenix is making four Jared M beds. As you can see, it mounts to the frame. And now you have a place for back here. I like it. I think this would be a great place for your rear chains, maybe a pair of gloves. That way when you walk back there grabbing your controls, you roll the bed back, you get your gloves out, you take your rear chains out. Yep. It's all right here at the back handy. So way back when, I used to have several wreckers uh, when I was like, started it when I was 20. Yeah. And all my, the trucks I had had one box up here and that was it. Yeah. And you didn't have like, that box would be amazing. Because every time you need something, like the little stuff, you walk all the way up there. Mm -hmm. and it's then, right here next to your controls. Yeah. Like I say, you run back here, lay your bed back, and then put your gloves on, grab your rear chains, and go to work. Yep. It's, and then, you know, back up here on the headache rack, your wood and everything else, I used to always have to, it was stuffed right here, and you yeah. just hope it all stays there. You didn't have a didn't have a tray. The tray's an awesome piece to have. Yeah. But it's pretty cool. And then these pieces of chrome here, uh, Ray, that's normally... Of course, this was a red bed, so that's normally red. You can yep. see them sitting right there on top of the toolbox. This is going to took off. Oh, yeah, yeah, so okay. We replaced them with chrome. Uh, and then it's removable rails. Yep, removable rails. I love these style rails on a Jerridan, because this is a 102 wide bed. So even a dually will go on here with these rails. Look yeah, like, nowadays, all the, everybody's got these trucks with the, like the 12 and 14 inch wide wheels, mm -hmm. and you're not getting them on a... Yeah. But they are, if you do get a guy that is over 102, which yep. some of these guys, keep young kids especially are, just, you can remove just the back half if you want to. Yep. So you can take the back two rails off, lay them up on the truck or whatever, yep. you can still get it on here, even if it is over the legal limit. Right. But like I say, it's 103 and a half, or 101 and a half to the inside on both sides. So Pretty handy. Just about anything's going to fit on there. And if you own a tow truck, oftentimes you might not just be towing cars. So yeah. you can take this off if you're going to load some mm -hmm. something on here that needs to come off with like a forklift or something like that. Or if you're doing Copar. Because Copar a lot of times sets their stuff on with a forklift. Yeah. So you can just slide them off. They can set it on the forklift, slide them right back on. Yep. You still got the safety of a set of rails, but not the inconvenience of having a set of rails. It's pretty awesome. So. so let's talk a little bit up front here. So the specs of the 536. Um, the what? are limited to... 300 horsepower. That's okay. how we get them under CDL. All your under CDL trucks are 300 horsepower. You pick any truck out here that's under CDL, they're 300 horsepower. Pete Kenworth, Freightliner, don't matter. Uh, the PX7 engine? Yep, got the PX7 in it. Uh, and the Peterbilts, I do the Packard 8 speed transmission. I don't know if any of y'all have used this transmission yet, but I love it. Uh, I, in my opinion, the best transmission you can get in these little trucks. Uh, it's way smarter and way smoother shifting than anything else I've ever been in. And we actually did, just for giggles, lined it and a competitor's transmission up outside and run, and run them, and about a truck length and a quarter. Really? Yeah. Okay. I mean, so you're going to get better fuel mileage because you got them two big overdrive gears on top of it. Yep. Better acceleration. And like I say, it's just smoother. can't even tell when it's shifting. I mean, it's... A lot of the other ones I've driven, you know yeah. every single time it's in a different yeah. gear. So I, I really like this transmission. We do it on all of our Peterbilt. Uh, and then we also have guys that's been in the record business know a lot of times competitor transmissions, if the transmission fails, they like to blame the manufacturer. Yep. So I've had you know trucks with 60,000 miles on them and the transmission went out and they, they go, oh, well, the manufacturer had set the ride height wrong or they, they set the drive shaft angle wrong or something like that. They, they try to blame that. You got a pack our truck with a pack our transmission, you're gonna have that worry. Right. Yeah. You know, it's theirs. They're gonna, they're gonna cover it. Yep. Gonna, you're gonna be stuck in the middle of a, of a pissing contest between two manufacturers. Yep. So I really like that. Little bit of a hood look under here. And so it's uh, it's air brakes. Yeah, air brakes, air ride, air ride seat. We've got a cab air ride seat on the passenger side that's dual passenger. Yeah. You know, it's two person. That way you can pick up a, you know. A lot of guys like to run with somebody with them to help them. So if you do that, you can work with the driver or if you pick up two people in a car. Pretty cool. And that the, so that's a 300 horse. What's the torque rating on it, do you know? 
850. 850, yeah. okay. Eight speed transmission. Then inside here. Now this is the new, so before, th it was a 336. Yeah, 337. Which was a smaller, 337, which yeah. was a smaller cab. Yeah, this is the new big cab. We order all these trucks with what they call the industrial interior. As you can see, it's very tough and rugged, you know. There's not a lot of flash to it, but it's, we can order you one, of course, with, you know, loaded up if you want it. But this is, this interior is designed to get greased up and get back clean again. Yep. It's got the tough seats in it. So, I mean, these are designed to take a lot of abuse, a lot of in and out all day long. Uh, something we do that a lot of the other wrecking manufacturers don't do. Every truck on the lot, we order with the auxiliary switches in them. So we don't do like big switch panels or stuff like that and mess your new dash up on all these new fancy trucks. You know? Check this out. So everything you're adding in here, you can wire Everything up to the I'm factory adding switches. Here is on the switches. You got spare switches here. So there's your strobes. There's your auxiliary strobes, and then your work lights is all pre-wired into the truck. Yep. PTOs I here. I like that. So I've never seen. Turn these off. I've never looked at this dash before. Yeah. It's pretty cool. The dash looks great. I like this. Got. Yeah, it's still got manual gauges on it, but yep. you've got a touch screen. You've got a screen too. Of course, you can scroll through and set different options for which gauges you want here. Yeah. And you can keep up with your mileage. You can keep up with your hours, which is great if you're billing by the hour for stuff like this. Mm -hmm. You can reset the hours on a drive before you go, and you know when you get back how you're billing. That's freaking cool. I mean, it's, it's sitting here. The thing's comfortable. You can get to everything like you want to. Yeah. And we try to think about the driver in these situations. You notice this is a low back seat. Yep. The reason is because we order these trucks with the back windows. Of course, the guy, record guys are putting these trucks in a lot of tight spots. You got to look around. Yeah. So we try to keep the seats all down out of your way so you can turn around and look back. If you don't like low back seats, I keep a high back just like it in stock. So we can swap that out. It's no big deal. But most people like to be able to see out the back of the trucks when they're trying to back them in places. Yep. Uh, this window especially is great for yield intersections because you can turn around and look over your, look over your shoulder yep. you know, when you're merging and stuff like that, which is awesome, especially when you're a lot of times dragging stuff that's hanging out the side of you or pulling cars that don't have all their wheels on them or stuff like that. So It makes it nice. You got, yeah. You've got storage under the seat, yep. plenty storage of storage under there. The seat. Get some little storage up here. It's, I mean, it's big. It's roomy. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty nice. Um, that was the biggest complaint we used to get on the on the Peterbilts was the old three series cab was the small cab. There's not a lot of room. Guys, yeah, a lot of the bigger guys had a hard time with them, but this this big cab has made a big difference. I mean, but you got you got kinds of room in here now. You got bad weather and all other stuff. You can keep down in here. You can yeah, keep you your, can your rain, rain suits, suits and stuff you can in keep there. A jacket yeah. in there. You can put if you're going to take your lunch in a little cooler. You can put it in there. Yeah, it's out of the way. And if you got a if passenger, you have to have customers in here, then it's not in their way. Yep. Or if your customer, you know. You got a couple get in here and they've got purses and stuff like that you can throw all that stuff under the seat yep that makes it really nice another thing that's really cool in this truck is the auto feature so um you just leave it right there and your headlights are going to turn on when you need it to it's also got a light check feature on these so you flip it over to light check and it goes through all the lights on the truck yep so you, you don't do have to your, walk around yeah, and do, you do it you walk around also do have a single function remote on this truck uh for the winch only we can do as many as you want. I can make everything on the bed remote, or yep. a lot of guys just want the winch. That way they can get in a car and drive it. The winch, the winch is that, or if you're sitting out here and you're trying to get under the truck and you need it, you need three more inches, you don't have to get out from under there and go. Yeah. So how far away does this dude work from the from the bed? Uh, it'll, it'll do the length of the cable. Well, so. yeah, as far as you'll ever need to go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. This is a super nice feature. All right, so that is the Peterbilt 536 in a nutshell here. Uh, Viper Red, Viper Red uh, bed on it. Uh, give me a little bit, give me the quick rundown real quick. 300 horse, eight speed. This thing is, also I order all these Peterbilts 156 CA, which means 22 foot bed, no problem. If you want a 22 foot bed and a side puller, I can still do that. If you want a 22 foot bed and a stationary headboard, I can still do that. So you got all the options with that CA, it's kind of a, the magic number on Jerry Dan where we can do whatever bed setup you want on it. Yep. So pretty awesome. 
and you've got uh well you can see out here there's a there's a few trucks that uh are sitting there ready to be built yeah, so I've um got four or five pooler built in stock i've got them with stationary headboards i've got them with side pullers ready to go right now and then i've got multiple colors sitting out here waiting to be built you can pick your color we can build your truck to suit you uh cool and we'll put contact info in the description everything you need if you want to get a hold of these guys we'll buy a wrecker maybe next time we come down here uh the weather won't be so bad and we'll go do a test drive and stuff with one but um unfortunately mother nature wins on this day but uh we'll come back and we'll maybe maybe we come back and do another video uh, maybe you can get, we'll do a shop tour. You give us a, yeah. a, we can walk around the shop, check that stuff out, and then maybe yeah. the weather's good and we can do a test drive in, our, in a truck too. That'd be great. Awesome. All right, guys, that is it for this video. Thanks, Adam, for uh, showing no me around. No problem. Glad y'all come to see it. This is a cool truck. And if you guys are going to be at the Florida Tow Show, yeah, where is Florida Tow Show. It's in Orlando uh, next date? weekend. So what is that? Look it up. Yeah, look it up. <laughs> Cool. We'll put the information down, all that yep. stuff down in the description, but Florida Tow Show, April, something and other, and uh, you guys, where's this truck going to be? At it's going to be in the Phoenix booth. Okay. So, we'll have it there. We'll have salesmen there, uh, standing next to the truck, so you can buy this truck, or we can build you one just like it. You can talk to my boys right there. So. Let us know what you think. Leave us some comments. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Later.